It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Garage Project in New Zealand and other half from, I believe they're New York in America. This is the No Dreams to Brooklyn. It's an 8.5% ABV, probably double New England IPA, probably. Um, and yeah, No Dreams to Brooklyn suggests that they're from Brooklyn, New York. Let's get this 440 milliliter can out into a glass. Uh, see what we get. Let me show you the artwork first. Lovely artwork on the can. Here we go. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass then. Oh, look at this. That <laughs> Ho 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 ho! There's still beer in the cans. It's not as if like I've shook the can on and chucked the the sediment in yet. That looks like mango juice. It really does. Now we're getting the rest of the beer in. Every last drop. At this stage of the beer review, I want to say a massive thank you to Mick in Australia for sending us some of the best beer in the world. Australia, this is New Zealand beer by the way, um, Australia producing some fantastic, fantastic beer. We get sent beer every month by the good man Mick in Australia. Just a fan of the channel. You don't own a bottle shop or nothing like that. Just a just a fan of the channel sends us beer every month. And this month we've got some Old Wives Ales, some Wayward Brewing Company, some Clear Valley Brewing Company. Uh, we've got a double New England IPA, an England IPA, uh, New England IPA, sorry, Old Man Yells at the Clouds. That, um, fantastic guy, Mick from Australia. Thank you. So 8.5% ABV, Garage Project in New Zealand, just so you don't get confused that Australian, uh, if this is not Australian beer, this is New Zealand beer uh, that they brewed with other half from Brooklyn in New York. You can see the colour, hazy mango juice, one finger whitehead, let's get the aroma. It's just absolutely out of this world. I don't know where to start. <laughs> it's just... Whew. Mango, passion fruit, grapefruits, citrusy, lemony, grapefruity, pineapple, orange, fleshy blood orange, kiwi, just everything. On that note, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. amazing beer oh it's like where to begin it's just blown my mind just grapefruit in, grapefruit infused passion fruit infused kiwi lemon lime just absolutely incredible incredible there's a nice bitterness on the back end I don't think um, Garage Project are, are frightened to have a little bit, bit of bitterness on the back end of the beer. I think there's that many hops in the beer that there's just no helping. There's just, there's just no getting away from the fact that there's bitterness on the back end. There's bound to be bitterness on the back end.
The mouthfeel is oaty, creamy, a massive depth to it. I mean like crazy depth to the mouthfeel. It's almost, it almost drinks like the mouthfeel of a barley wine. You can tell there's loads of oats, there's loads of malt. It's a relatively good amount of, of, of bitterness to at the back end. There's a relatively good amount of sweetness to begin with. The creaminess on the mouthfeel is wonderful. The flavours, I've mentioned the flavours, and there's enough carbonation to push the beer around the inside of the mouth to release more of them flavours. It's just absolute, absolute heaven. Absolute. If you love beer, this would be your heaven. As long as you liked double New England IPAs, as long as you liked smashable New England IPAs, you're going to love this style of beer. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Incredible. Okay. No dreams till Brooklyn. I reckon if I drank that quickly, I wouldn't have any dreams till Brooklyn too. Um, I reckon I'd have a couple of pale ales first, and I'd have a couple of IPAs, and I'd have a, a stout, and then I'd finish off with one of these bad boys, and I'd be... Dreaming, no dreaming till Brooklyn. Um, right, so uh, New York City's inimitable other half fly in to create no dreams till Brooklyn, a hazy oat cream IPA. Absolutely spot on with that oat cream IPA. Let me touch on that if you're new to beer, if you're new to making oats. In a, in a saucepan with milk or even water when you when you cook your oats in the water if you cook them long enough you'll, you'll pour the oats into a bowl add some honey and whatever and then sugar chocolate whatever you do with your oats on the bottom of the pan then you'll see like this creamy residue that's the kind of creaminess I'm talking about in this beer. This is the reason why this brewery has added oats to the beer, is to, is to replicate, is to bring that creaminess to this beer. And that's exactly what they've done. Okay, uh, balancing lactose sweetness with a massive burst of, us, of US Citra, I said US Citra, US Citra, and harvest fresh Nelson Sovin from Freestyle Hop Farm. Brewed to collaborate the 2019 Happy Festival and the New Zealand Hop Harvest Garage Project. Amazing brewery. Other half, amazing brewery. There we go. I'm ready to rate it. It's just, just incredible. From the look to the aroma to the taste. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.